how to set up HDRI lighting in Corona 7 and also how you can add multiple HDRIs to one final render. Let's go! So adding HDRI lighting in Corona is really simple and straightforward. We're gonna go to the material editor and next I want to bring up new Corona bitmap. Let's go to the map section, Corona bitmap. Select my HDRI map. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one and you want to make sure you're set to real pixel so you can use the maximum depth of the image. So select OK and now we are just gonna bring up the environment tab and drag our image. Now we can close this one and let's make a test render. Now we need to do a couple of things. First we need to correct the exposure. We can either correct the exposure right from here or we can increase the exposure of the HDRI itself. So for that I'm going to add a Corona color correction. And in here under the linear HDRI adjustment I'm going to crank up the exposure value. So let's bring it up something like this. for now. Next I want to change the sun direction. So I'm going inside the HDRI and in here I can rotate the environment map. So let's start by 10 degrees. Something like this could work very well. Now I can go back to the color correction and maybe play a bit with the hue or saturation if I like. Let's say make it a, uh, change a bit the hue, maybe minus 5 or maybe play with the temperature and so on. Now if you don't see your HDRI in the render you may want to check that if you go to the settings, scene, under the scene environment, you need to check the 3ds Max environment tab, which was this one. You can also change it to single map and then drag your HDRI over here. Or you can also set multiple HDRIs and then tweak it inside Lightmix. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's just stop the render. Now I'm gonna make a copy of this one. And in the original one, let's change the map to something else. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Let's have a look. Okay, maybe change the sun direction. Okay, now I'm gonna copy it as well. And let's make another variation with a different lighting. Let's go with this one. Okay, so after I'm happy with the results, I can then set up my multi-map in the environment slot. So let's click on it and click on the map slot. Now I can set the number of maps that I need and let's drag our HDRIs. And three. All we need to do is click on setup light mix and Corona will automatically set up a render element for each of the lighting. So I'm going to click on generate. Let's close it. And if you go to the render elements, we can now see that we have interactive light mix. We have a layer for each of our lights. So now basically we can render one final image and have different kind of lighting. So our render is finished and now let's go to the light mix tab and in here we can see all of the HDR maps. Let's turn them off 
and click on the first one. We can control the intensity if we like. We can even change the tint. Let's see another one. So this one as well, maybe make it a bit yellowish. And we have the last one. So now with just one final render, I can save three different images.